Mr. Dilip Bengsagar, thank you so much for joining me at E-Times. It's so wonderful seeing you. It's so wonderful that I'm going to talk to you now. I have grown up watching your cricket. I'm a huge cricket buff. And uh, it's really an honor for me to be talking to you today. Yeah, thank you very much. It's a pleasure for me. Yeah. Mr. Bengsagar, uh, I would like to start with uh, the movie 83 which uh, has depicted each and every cricketer who played in the 83 World Cup. And uh, you have seen the film, so let's start with that. How have you found it? I mean, picture up achi lagi ki nahi lagi? Well, I loved it the way it is made. Um, it's superbly done. Um, um, and everybody has uh, given um, uh, a good expo balanced exposure, I would say. Um, and um, uh, I think Kabir Khan has done an outstanding job. And so uh, has Ranveer Singh, uh, because uh, the entire get-up um, um, of Kapil Dev, um, his bowling action, um, and the way he speaks, everything has, has been absolutely spot on. I think he's, a, he's done a great job. Uh, and overall, the film is very good. I think they have put uh, um, at least three, four emotional moments um, in um, um, the background music is good. Um, overall, I, I think the film is uh, is very well made. So it's a depiction of each and every cricketer as close as it gets. Which character did you find the closest? I mean, uh, I know that Kapil Dev is very starkly close. But besides Kapil Dev, which character has Kabir Khan been able to depict the most close? Well, it's very difficult to say, but I think Kapil Dev, as you said, Kapil Dev was the one definitely. Um, otherwise, I think my character, Adinath Kothari, has done a good job. Um, uh, he's done a very good job. Apart from that, uh, I think Kirmani, uh, his bald look, you know, or uh, um, Sandhu in his pagdi, uh, they've come very close. Uh, and um, I, think that, I think the cricketers, the actors have tried their best. Um, I believe they were trained uh, for six months. Um, for all the shots, uh, everybody should play and their style, style of performing, style, style of playing, bowling, batting, fielding, whatever. Uh, I think they have done a good job, but, but it's very difficult to say I think who came close to uh, the original one as such, uh, except Ranveer Singh. When did you meet uh, Adinath? Adinath, uh, he called me. Um, this must be uh, nothing before 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 pandemic, uh, and he wanted to know other minute detailing. Um, about what happened exactly and how you played and um, how, uh, how you're injured um, uh, and the match which was um, and of course Malcolm Marshall rivalry whatever you know uh, the the whole thing uh, he came at least three four times to me I spoke to him at least one hour each time um, and uh, then I think he yeah then I think he tried his I think best to replicate the whole thing and I think he's done a good job. So you didn't go on the field uh, or on the sets to train him sometimes or, uh, I mean, have personal interactions with him during the making of the film? No, I was not invited. Uh, the thing is that um, um, the, the entire, I think, um, uh, staff or uh, um, all the actors that were trained by Balvindri Singh Sandhu, uh, I, I guess he was appointed the coach um, uh, to coach all the players or the actors for that matter. Uh, I think they were together for six months um, and I think he was training them. I wasn't invited. So you spoke about the martial rivalry and I think that's one of the most important chapters in your life. Uh, he had happened to say somewhere that, you know, it all started from 1978 when he was given unfairly out according to him because you were constantly appealing. Uh, do you agree with what he said and uh, what exactly happened when you got hurt in that match against West Indies in the World Cup? Well, to be honest with you, I don't, um, I don't recollect. Uh, you know, um, I think the way he got out and went to India for the first time. Uh, you know, I thought he uh, had hit hit the ball, and he thought that it came off his pads. Uh, and it happens in cricket; it's part of the game. Uh, but then I think till till I read the book, uh, maybe uh, in eighty six, eighty seven, um, then I realized that I think he had rivalry against me. But we are good friends actually, uh, and I scored hundreds against him. Uh, it's not that I think you know only. Um, it was just one-sided. Uh, of course, I was hit twice uh, on the head. Um, 
वंस इन द वर्ल्ड कप एंड वंस एंड वंस इन एंटी का टेस्ट मैच मैंने वो स्पेडिंग ऑन 94 सो आई थिंक आई थिंक इफ इफ एट ऑल देयर वाज राइवलरी आई आई जस्ट रेड इट इन द आई थिंक द बुक ओके ही ही नेवर मेड इट आई मीन नोन टू यू वेल द थिंग इज दैट व्हाट ही व्हाट 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 ही रोट इज दैट यू नो एक्चुअली वेयर um he thought um um and i was one of the main batsmen uh, in the indian team or whenever i played against him so as uh, um you know going after me and getting me out early i think would be um, uh, in his advantage on his team's advantage so that's that's the way he's written that that was 84 and yeah. you were on a, i mean from 84 you were on that absolute yeah. high yes yes absolutely um, yeah um and it was a peak period of my in that career uh, basically from 84 onwards uh, till 88 um, i enjoyed playing um, everywhere all over the world and uh, even in india and uh, had a good run in that world cup when you got hit by that marshall delivery what exactly happened in the dressing room after that did the spirits fall a lot and did the media become more unfair after that that indian team doesn't know how to play fast bowling no 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 the thing is that i think we had a long partnership me uh, me and mohind ramanath uh, we were 80 for one i remember but we were we were going really good good uh, at a, at a point of time and actually he bowled me a short ball i think he didn't want to hit me or whatever but the thing is that um, i wanted to glide it um, you know to a third man and my angle uh, my angle bat i think was uh, more than what i'd expected and um, you know and through that gap i got uh, hurt um means uh, to be honest with you um, see uh, see i told adinath kothare also um, that how i was hit you know i tried to glide the ball to third man mm. um, you know and there was a gap between um, the bat and my uh, this thing you know you know and the ball just came to the gap and hit me I means i was not bitten by pace or whatever no okay so you saying that uh, the dressing room may disappointment jada nahi tha and the spirits didn't fall because that's what we used to hear after that delivery the team was shaken up no 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 the, the thing is that um, you know once you were hit and uh, then um, uh, um, and uh, i had a big gash um, so i had to go to the hospital so um, it didn't strike me what was happening in the dressing room but then uh, when i reached uh, the hospital i was told we were eight wickets down you know yeah uh so you know so there was sudden sudden collapse actually so the innings which you cherish the most this is very difficult to say which was the best innings but i um i remember after the third third um, test match 100 at the lords uh, because that was the first time india won at lords yeah mm. in a test match mm. uh and then headingly also uh, where uh, uh, i scored 100 uh, i think a very low scoring game uh and that's where uh, um i got man of the match uh, and for man of the tournament also man of the series also um and india won 2-0 against england that time and then another another uh, um 100 i scored 166 so that was uh, at katak against sri lanka and at a, at a, um, it was uh, um, a very poor wicket uh, to play on and uh, there of course i scored 100 also 166 out of maybe 300 runs or whatever Uh, so that was again low scoring in, and that test match we won by an innings because the wicket was absolutely treacherous track. You think it's far more easier to bat in today's times because you have so much of you know armory around you. You have, uh, I mean, apart from the helmet, of course, uh, there's so much padding that you can wear. And uh, do you also think the quality of bowling in your times was far more than what it is today? Well, it's very difficult you know, to compare. Uh, uh, Players of different era, I would say. Uh, but uh, but then, if you don't have a helmet, you don't think about the helmet. Um, you know, and if uh, uh, if you have a helmet and if you don't wear it, uh, then, you know, then you know, then it's not correct. Also, because uh, then then of course that you ask for trouble. Um, so when I started playing, um, um, I think helmets were not 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 in picture at all. And uh, it came in around eighty one, eighty two. Um, and that's when we started to wear helmet yeah i remember but now you... the arm guard and all the um, you know chest guards everything is there it helps a player to some uh, as somewhat but what is important uh, 
is that whenever you are not wearing helmet i think you uh, got hit less less time you know than um, after you wore helmet because what happens is if you are wearing a helmet and you know, then i think you are fraction of a second late on the ball but if you are not wearing helmet you know then automatically you automate your instinct straight away like you know i think you your gloves or your arm comes in your face um, in front of your face you know mm. and you don't get on the you don't get hit on the head head on the or on the face mm. as such you know mm. but of course there are instances that you got hit on the head or face or whatever uh, especially on the first in west indies anshuman gaikwad was hit on the uh, on the face and vishwanath was hit on the face and then brijesh patel was hit on the face uh, but i know uh, you got hit on the face as such you know then but after i started wearing helmet i got couple of times you know uh, once again of course once in 83 uh, uh, in the world cup and later on uh, uh, you know i think before the world cup also in antigua test match the bowler you dreaded the most well all of them at the international level because they were great bowlers uh, mm-hmm. um, i think um, but phir bhi ek hota hai na ek hota hai na ki thoda sa you know uh, because i have uh, because i have played against some of great bowlers uh, in the 80s like um, you know from imran khan um, you know dilly thompson andy roberts marshall holding mm. uh, you know all those guys garner and all those guys uh, um bob willis in both of them they were also great bowlers the bowler who you felt that okay i'll go after him at the international level it's very difficult to go after one bowler as such you know mm. uh, because there aren't any um, anybody who would give flight and you know try to um, you know but uh, it is very difficult for one bowler but the only thing is that you know, if the wicket is good if the wicket is placid uh, batting wicket then you can play your shots on the rise or you know can can get as many runs as possible okay you didn't mention the bowler you dreaded the most you said you played against a lot of bowlers but let me ask you who was the fastest is difficulty who was the fastest but actually uh, what i say thompson thompson in australia in 77 78 was very quick um um and joel garner was quick and marshall was quick holding was quick um and, and, you know imran was quick as well if you wanted to hmm Uh, so and of course kapil dev uh, of course he was on our side uh, luckily because uh, because he was one of the greatest bowlers i have seen you know the greatest all rounder i have seen who would you rate as the fastest batsman among the uh, fastest batsman in running between the wickets i enjoyed running between the wickets with everybody for that matter um, the kapil dev was very quick he was superb um Um, Mohinda Rahman was very good running between wickets. Okay, you became the next captain after Kapil Dev, and uh, did you enjoy that stint? Yeah, it was a short stint in the sense I was there only for three years because um, you know I, in out of ten test matches, I led um, against West Indies in seven test, in six test matches, uh, no seven test matches, you know, and three against New Zealand, which we won. Hmm. Uh, You know, then we won against. Uh, then then uh, we beat Pakistan and Sri Lanka in the Asian Cup and we won the Asian Cup as well. But then, uh, of course, West Indies at that point of time was the best team in world cricket. Um, you know, they beat everybody like England, Australia, everybody for that matter. Uh, so we lost to West, uh, uh, the West Indies in West Indies. Um, uh, in India, we drew the series, but uh, in West Indies, we lost the series, and uh, then I lost the captaincy. just because of that or also was it because of the stand off that you had with the board that okay they said you are taking some cricketers away to the us no not really um, um you know actually we went to us definitely uh, 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 but then actually this was after the tour and and um, and there was uh, nothing i think there was no cricket in india at that point of time you know so we thought that we, we just might go on the way to us you know and come back to india but then there was a um, Issue the BCC had created a lot of problems, um, and then we had to go to the court. They had banned us. I think we had to go to Supreme Court, and Supreme uh, Court said no, you can't do that. You know, and the agreement, whatever they used to sign with, uh, sign with us, I think it was like a uh, sort of bonded labor. You know, uh, and then described by the Supreme Court. Uh, so then we came back again. And uh, how was your stint as a selector? Very enjoyable. I enjoyed it because uh, the thing is that. Um, in 2002 um, um 
you know i was a chairman of talent spotters um and i uh, i used to watch a lot of matches from, from the under 16 under 19 under 14 so um, i had uh, i knew a lot of players um, you know i think who had the potential and who are very good and who could be groomed hmm. um and when i became selected in 2006 2007 um and i knew all the players very well um so it was very easy for me to pick the players especially uh, in the new format t20 format um and we won the first uh, t20 world cup in south africa right so is it easy also to pick players when you run your academy we select the boys hmm. and only on merit hmm. only if he is good i think he may be from slums or hmm. he may be extremely rich or whatever we don't concern about that at all in you know, that 20% of the kids who come from slums from the uh, into our academy because actually uh, what what we thought uh, what we saw is that, is that they have the hunger and they have to will to work work very hard in the game yeah you know um, and so we select each and every boy hmm it's not that they pay money and they come uh, in hordes like you know no so so from the beginning you select on merit ki agar usme wo baat hai to aap usko academy mein dakhil karte hain Yes. तो कभी ऐसा हुआ है कि कोई पेरेंट आया हो कोई इन्फ्लुएंशियल हो यार मेरे बेटे को जरूर एडमिट करो आप नहीं देखो ऐसा है कि इवन इफ यू पिक इन्फ्लुएंशियल का है इफ इज नॉट गुड इनफ देन आई थिंक ही वोट लास्ट बिकॉज बिकॉज अकेडमी प्लेस इन स्टेट लेवल प्लेस बेसिकली आई मीन दे आर नॉट बिगिनर्स यू नो वी डोट इंक्लूड बिगिनर्स विच इज पॉलिश दो प्लेस हुट पोटेंशियल um and then we offer them the platform hmm hmm you know to showcase their talent but if somebody comes i think in a with influence then he won't last long I unless agree. it's good i agree but has it happened with you any time a delicate situation not really i i have not seen many of uh, them because they all know because there are so many academies i think who take money you know and coach youngsters you know or offer them the platform uh, this thing you know the ground or what they need or whatever but not us did you fall out of favor in the selection committee because you chose virat kohli over badrinath well to be honest with you no i don't want to comment on what really happened uh, in that time but i know you know that, that we uh, you know we picked virat kohli after um, i was in australia in the emerging players tournament and uh, he was extremely impressive in the first game itself and i thought that uh, and i had seen him since under 16 days under 16 under 19 days uh, so So I knew his potential also, um, and then I knew when I became selector that this kid is ready to play uh, uh, for India in international cricket. So that's how I think he was fast track. Okay. So uh, coming back to films, uh, Mr. Vinsakar, how many films do you see? I mean, are you fond of movies, or is it just like a cricket film eighty-three, or or somebody who is uh, very senior in acting? Who uh, you go only for? very select content they yeah, very selective film that should basically whenever my friends say that uh, x film is good or y film is good um i see the film otherwise i am not uh, um i'm not a movie buff as such you know uh but let me tell you one thing you know the 83 film i saw it uh, at least four times and i enjoyed every time i really enjoyed it every time it's and it's very very well made film so which has been your favorite film till date Oh, there are quite a few. There are quite a few. Yeah, I can't tell you exactly but, one, but at least one or two you can name. I saw Shammi Kapoor's films, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, and Govinda's films. I mean, these two are my favorite favorite actors, you know, and they give me tremendous happiness. And whenever uh, I watch them, I love it. I enjoy their uh, the whole thing, and their dance and acting and whatever they do. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Shammi Kapoor and Govinda. How many times have you seen Kuli Number One? Is it more than four? <laughs> no, not really. But I've seen uh, at least once or twice. Definitely, I've seen them. Okay. So, Mr. Vinsaka, why do you think we have just very few films made on cricket? Is it is it tough to make these films like we have had, uh, say, Lagan and Iqbal or uh, uh, the Dhoni biopic, and now eighty three or Ekad the or be hai. बट ये पिक्चरें कम क्यों बनती है इंडिया में क्रिकेट के इतने फॉलोअर्स हैं इस गेम को इतना पैशन से फॉलो किया जाता है तो व्हेन इट कम्स टू मूवीज व्हाई इज द 
celluloid version of this game very few and far in between there there quite a few which has come on cricket actually basically but the thing is that it is very difficult to replicate the um, batting style or bowling style hmm. and um, and everybody knows now x y z has bowled or batted or whatever and actually when they see that it's not happening uh, on the screen then it just falls uh, apart like you know uh, so i think that could be the that could be one reason uh, but there are quite a film which has uh, been which, which have been made um, uh, on cricket um, yeah, sachin tendulkar azuddin ms dhoni um, what is the cutting edge or whatever that is Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Inside like Edge. Another film. Inside, Inside Edge. Inside Edge. Inside Edge. Yeah. Um, you know, there are films also, Arjun Cricket. Lagan was one of them. It's a very hit film. But it's a different film, like, you know. But even that's what I'm saying, you know, to get the actors in it to play like cricketers is very difficult. Mm-hmm. And they have done a commendable job in this 83 film. Do you remain uh, glued to every match which is going on in the world? Like, currently, the Ashes is going on. I love watching it. I, I love it because, because, I, because you know, I like to see good quality cricket. Mm-hmm. And that's what you see there because of good wickets. You know, um, it, see if the wickets are good and to play on or to bowl on or to bat on, um, you know, it enhances the quality of cricket. And that is what I love uh, watching. If you go to England or if you go to Australia, um, you know, quality cricket is very good. And you get a lot of people watching test match cricket. Unlike in India, where the wickets uh, um, are very poor, you know, they, uh, they are made for spinners. Um, you know, um, and, uh, uh, and the match is getting out in three days or whatever, you know. So, so yeah. it's worth watching also. So, thank you so much, sir. and uh, before we conclude your prediction on uh, the india south africa series which is going on what do you think what will be the final well, india, score? what will be the final india, score india, at the india. end of the series sorry what will be the final score at the end of the series i'm sure india will win because india is very strong you know at south africa because um, of all kinds of problems uh, um, in politics in the cricket uh, i think uh, yeah, they are completely ruined it um and um, in india has got a very strong strong side uh, are they doing very well and i'm sure they will win now i don't know how much uh, uh, what margin they will win which i can't really predict but mm-hmm. they will definitely win thank you sir right. thank you so much thank you. i repeat it was an honor talking to you thank you this has been a fascinating experience thank you so much thank you